up? It's Richie here with Satisfied Football, another bowl preview. This is for Monday, uh, December 23rd. This is the Gasparilla Bowl. There's only one game. It's the UCF Knights from Orlando against the Marshall Thundering Herd from West Virginia. Uh, UCF's coming in 9-3. A little bit of a down year for them compared to what they expected, but those three losses were by a total of seven points. A uh, few costly turnovers in, the, in, the, in the, all three of those games, and it could be undefeated again for a third straight year. They had a true freshman quarterback who was awesome uh, most or pretty much all year. Uh, they had, again, one, third year in a row, one of the best offenses in the country, averaging 43 points a game, which is sixth nationally. They are uh, fourth in total offense nationally. Their defense was actually pretty good, 39th in scoring defense, 34th in total defense. They had 31 sacks, which ties them for 16 in the in the 16th in the country, they had 113 tackles for losses, which is number two in the nation. Uh, they had 11 interceptions as, a, as a, a team, which is actually kind of down. They um, were one of the top teams in the country the last two years in terms of turnovers. Net this year, they only had 16, which isn't terrible, but the last few years they had 32 and 28. But Dylan Gabriel, true freshman, taking over because McKenzie Milton had gotten hurt at the end of last year. True freshman came in. Passed for 3,393 yards, 27 touchdown passes to only 7 interceptions. Uh, wide receiver Gabriel Davis, great year, 72 catches, 1,241 yards, 12 touchdowns. Linebacker Nate Evans, 100 tackles. Uh, they had Brendan Hayes, 7.5 sacks, defensive back. Neville Clark had 11 pass breakups, 2 interceptions, and 13 passes. Defense was tied for 8th uh, nationally. And defensive back Aaron Robinson, he had 10 pass breakups and 3 interceptions with 13 uh, passes defense is also tied for eighth. Then you got Marshall coming in at eight and four. They're averaging only 25.8 points per game, which is like 88th in the country. Uh, they have pretty decent defense, 40th in scoring defense, uh, 44th in total defense. They're, they're not bad. They had 34 sacks. They're decent at getting the quarterback. Quarterback Isaiah Green, 2,264 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and 9 picks. They did have a 1,000 yard rusher and running back Brendan Knox, 1,284 yards and 11 touchdowns. They had a good linebacker as well, Tevante Beckett, 114 tackles, and Omar Cobb, 107 tackles. So, two really solid linebackers there. And they had a really, they have a really good D back in Chris Jackson, Chris Jackson, who had 11 pass breakups and one interception. Um, the favorite in this game is UCF by 17, and unless Gabriel throws some interceptions, so three losses, not putting it all on him, but he did throw some uh, picks in those games and make some fresh mistakes early on in those games. Um, and, and, but by and large, he's had an awesome season. Um, assuming that he continues that into this bowl game, I do think UCF will beat Marshall. Marshall's a strong team, but if UCF can pour it on like they 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 know how to do if they score or quick early and just put it up all in the first quarter basically and UCF could cover that 17 I do think UCF will win uh, whether they cover or not I don't I don't really follow that but I do think UCF should have a pretty good shot at winning it may be close for the first quarter or, or maybe half depending on how it goes maybe but I think UCF has a big uh, big one there to get to 10 wins which Hey, next year, maybe they can go undefeated again. Mackenzie Milton could be back next season. If not, Dylan Gabriel's shown he's got the reins for the next two or three years. Um, anyway, so UCF should be able to finish on top. Come back, check my other previews out. Peace.